We're now ready to install the column into our opening with our roof jacked and we've installed the one piece capitals and base and we're going to hold them in place while we install the column with some shims that we purchased from the local hardware store. We're working with a gloss white column and we just determined that the shim system that we talked about earlier isn't going to work on a glossy finish. The shims just slide. I'm assuming these shims would work on the black texture, bronze texture, white texture, and brown texture finishes. So we're simply going to temporarily uh, tape these guys into place so they're out of the way when we do our uh, uh, install our bracket system. We're ready to move on to the next step. As a reminder on the capitals and bases, uh, we learned this uh, as we went along, is that you want to make sure that your side entry screw holes for your capital and base are identical top and bottom, and it always looks best if those are on the side of the column. Now moving down to the bottom here, we're ready to install an L-clip on either side. We're going to install L-clips on four sides, but we'll start with the two sides, and we're going to lag these into the deck on both sides prior to taking a self-tapping screw and attaching the L-bracket to the column. We will repeat this process front and back. And I learned the hard way here that the first time I hit this screw hole, this hole here, that is a, strictly a powder coating hang hole and that uh, serves no purpose in the installation. So at this point, my assistant Dave is holding the column in place. We've had the le level on the column. We know what is plumb front to back. We know what is plumb side to side and we have it marked. So at this point, we're actually going to lower, remove our temporary jack and lower the weight onto the structural column. Okay, what I'm going to be doing here is installing my L brackets and I'm going to install them to the header first before I install them screw them into the uh, DSI aluminum column. <laughs> okay, at this time we have everything into position. We're comfortable with fit and form. The L brackets are holding everything in place and now we're ready to insert the screws through the L brackets and into the aluminum column. Okay, we are ready to install the base. So we're going to uh, release the tape here and uh, keep the capital in place and uh, take the base down to its position and uh, everything is looking good, fit and form and we're ready to do a side entry. Oh, we're ready to remove the tape and insert the capital into its position. Just go all the way to the top. And uh, Dave, if you could hold that in place while I get my screw gun, number two square head bit, put it totally securely in place. Side entry screw, self tapper. And you will repeat that on the other side. This concludes the installation of the 8 inch square smooth column, 8 foot tall. It's available in 6, 8, and 10 square, 8 to 20 foot tall. There's also a version with an astrical. There's also a fluted version, 6, 8, 10, and 12 inch square, 8 to 20 foot tall. And a 6 and 8 inch square recessed version, 8 to 10 foot tall. Thank you for watching this installation and you have a wonderful day.